I don't think Boris had the guts or the balls to cancel this again and suffer the wrath of Mags and Sandra. <laughs> yes, today the numbers are slightly smaller, but that means just a couple of things. Double the wine and double the food. <laughs> this will, without question, be the best New Year's Eve anyone is having in the UK today. And we've even got people here all the way from Australia as well. Yo, what's going on people? Adam here. Hope you're doing really well. So I know it's been a while since I last made a video, but I'm back for the new wedding season, the 2022 season. I've got some great films to share and some behind the scenes videos coming soon, but I thought what better way to start than with a, a quick video about this new feature in Final Cut Pro 10, the voice isolation. So last week, Apple Final Cut released this new update, which was version 10.6.2 or something. Um, and it included this voice isolation feature. And there were other features included in the update, dupe detection, etc. But I want to focus on voice isolation because this is what I'm concerned with as a wedding videographer. And for anyone who, who sh shoots video, uses audio in their video, be it voiceovers, be it interviews, be it speeches, then, th then this is a really interesting feature and it could potentially change the game. As you might have seen from the example at the start of this video, it's really accurate background noise removal or voice isolation as they're calling it and it really does work. Now previous to this, there in the audio inspector in Final Cut there was a setting called noise removal but if you selected that and used that on a clip, it, it just made the audio sound a bit tinny and you could tell it had been doctored. It didn't sound natural. But this new feature is a hell of a lot better. <laughs> I know it's always a bit cliche, but she really is my better half. She honestly is my best friend. And of course, the best mum to our little beautiful daughter. <laughs> I know it's always a bit cliche, but she really is my better half. She honestly is my best friend. And of course, the best mum to our little beautiful daughter. <laughs> I know it's always a bit cliche, but she really is my better half. She honestly is my best friend, and of course, the best mum to our little beautiful daughter. So as you can see, that was a groom doing his speech at his wedding. And without this voice isolation setting turned on, then there's gonna be typically a fair bit of background noise. You know, what's common in, in a wedding speech is to have glasses chinking in the background, people chattering or clapping, laughing. You can hear the rustle of the microphone against suits, things like that. There's always a bit of background noise. It's inevitable. With this new setting turned on, it does exactly what it says on the tin. The voice is isolated and the background noise is really stripped away. But without this groom sounding unnatural, he still sounds as he should. So this for me will make my film seem much better quality in terms of audio. It's going to add an extra level of production um, as if I've used really high-end quality audio equipment when in reality nothing's changed. I'm still using the Sony TX650 uh, audio recorders. I use exactly the same setup and equipment as I have always have done but with this new feature voice isolation turned on all of a sudden the production level of my films goes like that because that audio quality sounds so much better. Now when you turn it on in Final Cut it's automatically set at 50% but obviously you can tweak that ranging from 0 to 100. That'll depend on your situation. Sometimes you might want to leave the background noise in, you might want to hear clapping or cheering from, from people in the background or you might want to completely strip it all away. And obviously it's not going to work 100% of the time. If you go up to 100% with this setting Occasionally, you might find, if there was a lot of background noise, you might find that it does occasionally sound a bit, you know, manipulated and unnatural. But in any test I've done, it's still a huge improvement on any setting I used previously. And obviously, you can just tweak it, play around with the dial until you find the setting that works for you. So I've been really impressed with this, and I'm actually using it in my wedding films now. We are gathered here today to witness two of our favourite people getting married. Before we start though, there's one thing that I'd like us all to do, and that's just to celebrate the fact that we are finally here. Of course I'm aware that not all of my subscribers, you guys watching, are Final Cut users. Some of you will be on Adobe and DaVinci, but if you are on Final Cut and you're editing Final Cut and you've not got this latest update, go and do it now. You will be blown away with how well it works, it's brilliant. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
from the examples that I've shown in this video, what did you think? Did you think it made a massive improvement? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video or you want to see me filming behind the scenes at a wedding and how I go about that, then make sure you subscribe because the next video that I put out on the channel will be a behind the scenes at a wedding. Apart from maybe a wedding film or two, that will be the next YouTube video that I put on the channel. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. I'll see you very soon.